Now let me read this. Now let me read this. Al Wahdi and his Azbab and Nuzil, and give you the context. Now let me read this. Urwa ibn al Zubair informed us that the Messenger of Allah sent a military expedition, military expedition against unsuspecting caravan, by the way. They were not prepared for an attack and they were not going to war. Military expedition and appointed Abdullah ibn Jash al Asdi as its leader. This expedition proceeded until they reached Nakhla, which is near Mecca where they found Amr ibn al-Hadrami leading a trade caravan for the Quraysh. That day was the last day of the sacred month where it was forbidden to fight and wage war. The Muslims were divided in their opinion, right? <clears throat> Some of them said, we know for certain that today belongs to the sacred month. Now notice, they're aware of this, right? We are aware of the view that you should for certain <clears throat> that today belongs to the sacred month. We are aware of you that you should not violate it because of greed. Notice, don't do it because you're greedy. This is going to start problems. It's a sacred month. The opinion of those who des desired the stuff of this world gained the upper hand. They attacked Ibn al-Hadrami, killed him. They killed this man and seized his camels. Now I can read the rest of this, but you get the picture. Here it was the forbidden month where you could not attack other people, especially unsuspecting caravan that was carrying goods <clears throat> for the welfare of the people at Mecca. What do the Muslims do? Decide to attack and kill this person in order to steal their goods and bring him back to Medina. And now that caused problems, but again, remember, Allah is only too quick to fulfill the desires of Muhammad. He hastens to fulfill the desires of Muhammad. And chapter 2, verse 217 was revealed to justify what Muhammad mm -hmm. did, basically. What Muhammad did, basically. What Muhammad did, basically. by our base criteria, isn't it? I mean, you send eight people right into enemy territory and you ask them to wait and see the news and explore and scout that area and bring the news and what's going on to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi There was a scouting mission. and they did not discuss this before with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi He sent them and they did not know whether they should be fighting or not. They were ordered to scout and explore but it was not obvious to them whether they should start fighting or not. So they started discussing among themselves and they decided and they decided and they decided that they will go on and attack the caravan. They brought the caravan when Rasulullah saw those prisoners uh, in chains and shackles, the caravan. He said, what did you do? And they told them, and the Rasulullah I did not tell you to fight in Rajab. What Muhammad did basically. I did not tell you to fight in Rajab. But again, remember, Allah is only too quick to fulfill the desires of Muhammad. He hastens to fulfill the desires of Muhammad. And chapter 2, verse 217 was revealed to justify, was revealed to justify. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Al-Baqarah, that's number 217 and 218. يَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الشَّهْرِ الْحَرَامِ قِتَالٍ فِي They ask you about the sacred month 
can we fight? قُلْ قِتَالٌ فِيهِ كَبِيرٌ It is a major sin to fight in the month Haram. was revealed to justify returned the caravan, paid the penalty for the killed man, and returned the prisoners. And that was the story of Sariyatu Nakhla. was revealed to justify now Let me read this. Now let me read this. Now let me read this. A lot of Christians wrestle uh, with these passages as well. Call them the hard passages, especially in the Old Testament. Think of uh, the psalmist exulting in dashing babies' heads against the rock, you know, the children of his enemies. Think of um, God telling uh, Saul to put the ban on the Amalekites. That means kill every man, woman, child, and animal. Think of Joshua when he comes into the uh, Promised Land, basically unleashes a blitzkrieg and then wipes out, puts to death entire you know, populations. How about this passage uh, we came across recently in the liturgy from uh, the book of Exodus, in the story of uh, Israel battling uh, the Amalekites again, and Moses putting his arms up as long as he's praying, the battle goes well. And finally, Yahweh carries the day, and we hear this now. And Joshua mowed down Amalek and all his people with the edge of the sword. And it's followed immediately here in the lectionary by the word of the Lord. It's fine to realize that even devout Christians can find this um, kind of passage difficult. What Muhammad mm -hmm. did, basically. You hypocrite, you hypocrite, you hypocrite. You Short answer, yes. Long answer, Yes. That's a valid criticism.